okay welcome back everyone this was this was where we stopped in our previous clip whereby we stopped at the introduction that html right and i said this time around we want to create we want to create a file uh, we want to start using our work let's okay let me restart this project now from the beginning let me let me exit let me go back then i start the trip edit again to load up then i have my menu projects the batch 100 that i've created is there i'll click on the batch now we have the file this is the file name introduction.html so now we click on the file now first of all we are going to be dealing with the skeleton of html now if you check if you check this corner now you, you can see that there is there is a keyboard here first this is this is uh the compiler and the the, um, the compiler own keyboard that is this is treb edit this is html keyboard why this other keyboard this is my normal uh my normal phone keyboard right good so first of all we need to talk about the skeleton of html we first of all we have our 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 less than then we have html then we have we have greater than to close it up if you notice as soon as as soon as i as soon as I clicked, as soon as I click on this greater than to close it, it uh, it auto completed for me. What do I mean? As soon as I hit greater than to complete it up, out to and to to close our first tag, we have the closing of the HTML. Now, this is the opening tag of the HTML, while this is the closing tag of the HTML. Are you getting it? What is the difference between the opening and the closing tag? The difference between this opening tag of the HTML and the closing tag of the HTML and this op and this closing tag of the HTML is just this forward slash that you see here. Can you see this forward slash? Yes. That is just the difference between the opening and the closing tag. Every of our code that, that we are going to be writing will be written inside of this html inside of the opening and the closing tag of the html now if you check if you check your screen you discover that there is an arrow here right there's there's an arrow here once i click on the arrow you see now we now have a tab so i i i am going to be tabbing it to give our work you know to make our work more and more nice once i hit tab the cursor is going to be shifted in right after the opening and, 